But let's get to senior correspondent Alicia Acuna in Phoenix, Arizona, where votes, they are still being counted in two big races that we're following. So, Alicia, give us your update. Yes. Yeah, good morning, Dana. Well, as the count was updated last night into today, we saw the margins increase in favor of Democrats. But we still have a long way to go, and both sides know that. I will get to that in a second. But first, why is this taking so long? According to the Arizona Secretary of State's office, the estimated number of uncounted ballots in the state is about 619,000. In Maricopa County, it's more than 407,000. Maricopa is the second largest voting jurisdiction in the nation. 80% of voters here were early voters. Under Arizona law, folks are also allowed to drop their early ballot off on Election Day. On Tuesday, 290,000 voters did just that. That's a huge jump from 2020 when 170,000 walked them in. Once they go through signature verification, once they are deemed good signature, once they go through an audit queue, then they can be sent ahead to the board for tabulation. This number is immense, but it does inhibit us from having a higher percentage of returns available within the first 24, 48 hours. But it is important that we do signature verify all of those because it is how we confirm your identity. Okay, so then they process the early vote ballots first. Then they get to the day of voters, folks who walk in to cast their ballot. We haven't even seen those numbers from all those people who stood in line to vote. And if tradition holds, a majority of those vote Republicans. So when you look at the race boards here, first to the Senate race, where Democrat incumbent Mark Kelly is leading Republican Blake Masters, and Democrat Katie Hobbs holds a slim lead over Republican Kerry Lake. Dana, keep that in mind. You have two tight races here. You have record turnout and you have a law that determines the order in which these ballots are counted. One other thing, yesterday we were expecting a higher number of results coming out of Maricopa County. That did not happen. Right. Dana, we, are, we, we packed our patience for this week and looks like we needed it. Thank you so, so much. So meanwhile, in neighboring Nevada, that Senate race between the incumbent Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto and the Republican challenger Adam Laxalt is still up in the air. Currently, Laxalt has a lead, but reports indicate there are more than 100,000 mail-in ballots still to be counted. Jonathan Hunt's running it down live in Las Vegas. Jonathan, what's the, um, what's the movement as of today? Good morning. Well, good morning to you, Bill, and here we are again, waiting on the slow and methodical counting of ballots in Nevada to perhaps decide the balance of power in the U.S. Senate. We were here back in 2020, quite literally in my case, uh, for days that turned into weeks for the presidential election, and here we are again for this critical Senate race where Democratic incumbent Catherine Cortez Masto is currently just about two points behind behind her Republican challenger, Adam Laxalt. Let's not forget, there's also a very important governor's race here, too. The Democrat incumbent, Steve Sislak, trailing his challenger, Republican Sheriff Joe Lombardo, by about four points. But obviously, it is the Senate race that everybody is focusing on, and it is now down to the counting. We believe, as you mentioned, that there may be as much as 100,000 votes left to count. They are concentrated in Washoe County in the north and down here more than anywhere in the south, Clark County with Vegas at its heart. 75% of the Nevada population lives in Clark County, so the vast majority of the votes are cast here. And as we got some fresh numbers from Clark County last night, it appeared that they were breaking, as they usually do here, in favor of the Democrats. And Catherine Cortez Masto uh, saying her campaign manager that he is very confident that, that she will end up the winner here. On the other hand, Adam Laxalt also tweeting today that he is confident that the rural votes may outweigh those of Clark County in terms of the final result. We shall see. The Clark County Registrar says they're taking their time because it is their job to do it right, not fast. Listen here. Well, the timeline statutory. So, yes, we expected uh, the timeline to be what it is. Uh, I think turnout was good for a midterm. We definitely got more election day turnout than uh, we did in 2020 G, but the dynamics are so much different now that we have mail ballot going out to all voters, so it'll be some time. 
Now, remember the name Adam Laxalt, Republican challenger in this Senate race bill. He, of course, was the leading Republican voice in claiming that there was, quote, widespread fraud in the 2020 presidential election. He has not raised any such objections as yet. That is logical, given that at the moment he is still in the lead. But if he ends up on the losing side here, it will be interesting to see if he follows the same 2020 playbook. Got it. Bill? Jonathan, do you know when's the next dump of ballots? Do we have a time on that? Uh, Washoe County is uh, they're, they're each doing it every day, but Washoe County up in the north, they've been a little fungible on the times. Uh, here in Clark County, which is the most critical bill, they have said that they will give us fresh numbers uh, at around 6.30 local time every okay. day. That's 9.30 okay. p.m. Eastern. Wow. But we are also getting a, uh, a news conference from Joe Gloria, the registrar, at 11.30. That's 2.30 your time, Bill. Okay, cool. Thanks, Jonathan Hunt. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.